Hi, this is Edis, Educational Technologist in Oregon Tech. And in this video, I want to go over the Insert tab of Microsoft Word. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Insert. And so you can see I have quite a few things here that I can do. Um, actually, I would like to open the file um, just so that we can kind of see um, what I, what the availabilities of some of these functions are. So if I go to insert and um, I want to say insert a picture here because I have a huge blank space, I can go in here and insert a picture. I can pick any picture I want. Um, so if I go to um, my pictures and let's say I want to take the OIT picture of the owl and I can insert it. And so you can see that it inserts real quick and easy there. I can also insert a picture online. So you can actually do um, from SharePoint if it's available to you or Bing search. You know, I like cats, so I'm going to go look for a cat picture. Oh, uh, you know, so I can insert that picture. Um, and so I now have a cat picture, and I also have an owl picture that I added into my. Um, well, actually, it overwrote it because I didn't click off of it. So um, I now have a kitty picture instead of the owl picture there. Um, I can insert a table too. Um, you can do it this way or you can also do um, you can um, draw a table and that will give you the option to um, pick how how big and um, not draw a table I apologize um, insert a table and then I can pick the number of columns and rows if you know the 10 by 10 is not or 10 by 12 I think it is um, no 10 by 10 uh, 10 by 8 is not big enough then I can definitely do it myself um, Excel spreadsheet I could put it in as an Excel spreadsheet so that it it has the same functions that I'm um, able to do um, you know I can um, now have an Excel spreadsheet and do formulas in there as well but I don't have any desire to do that so um, cancel uh, let's see let's go back here um, so we can do undo. Um, then the other thing is this shape. So you'll see on a lot of my documents, I have little boxes drawn around things. So I can actually pick a, a shape and how I make the box. And I'll go through this a little bit more because I do want to go through the drawing tools. But I can do a no fill. And that creates a box around the, the area that I want to put in there. Um, there's smart art, uh, so you can do flow charts, um, you know, lists. This is really a great tool, um, especially for students. You might want to pass this on to them if they haven't already figured it out, which I think most of them have. Um, but it is a great tool. I've used it lots and lots of times. So they have different types of things here that you can use um, as far as smart art. Um, icons, you know, again, I think this brings you to, oh, it doesn't bring you to the search, but so you can have all of these different things added in I want to put in a puzzle piece you know so you have more stuff that you can do here so there's lots of things that you can insert here uh, you can insert a chart you can insert a screenshot um, so I could do actually do a screen clipping of a certain area of my screen and now there's that screen area that had the um, that I did a screenshot um, so this is also the uh, tap, um, find and reuse parts of documents within your organization. So perhaps I had something that I was working on and I can actually add that as well. Um, the store, Microsoft Store, I don't recommend going there with the add-ins just because it is, um, you don't know what you're downloading. And then there's, of course, Wikipedia. Um, it is a new Office add-in. Um, so if you want to download it, you can. I don't know that it, uh, I would do it. I can just go as easily online to wikipedia.com. Uh, it is your choice. Online videos. Um, so you can actually find a YouTube video, a Bing search video if you're not sure what whether it's a YouTube or not, or you can embed the code. Um, I can show you how to do this in another video. Um, if you're interested, please let me know and I will get with you on that because um, it is not hard to do, but I don't want to get too far into this. Again, my videos run seem to run a little bit longer than I anticipate. And so I am trying to minimize that as much as possible. Um, hyperlinks. So you can actually add a hyperlink. Um, you can put the URL right here. You can also, um, you know, 
put it put it somewhere in the document. You can also create a new document, or you can add it to an email address here. Um, you can see I have a hyperlink right here. So I did do the insert hyperlink, and so that was a very useful tool so that when people who download my documents or come to my training and download the documents um, will have access to these links. Just It's just quick and easy so that they don't have to go searching for it. Um, bookmarks, you can add a bookmark. I never have done it. Um, you know, I guess you cannot have spaces. And so you can add... And so, you know, now I have a bookmark I can add. You can cross-reference. Um, I don't have anything uh, to cross-reference. Um, you know, above, in reference to a paragraph, below, what is it, um, a paragraph text. Um, you know, I want the bookmark document to, and I can insert that and close it. And that will give me an error message because I really don't have anything there. Um, but it is something that you is available to you. Um, if I highlight here, I can actually create a comment. Um, I'm sure a lot of you instructors have used this. Um, so especially if you're collaborating or, or working on a document with somebody or you are giving a student back um, feedback and then you don't want to upload this. Um, so you can create a comment here and, you know, just say this needs more work or whatever. Um, I really, really do appreciate feedback when I am a student. So I'm encouraging to use this tool because um, it, it's definitely some students need. Um, and, and I'm going to stress this because I, I am a student. I've been a student for many years. Um, and the one thing that I think frustrates me more than anything is not getting a comment or feedback as to why something is not good. Uh, so this is a way that you can give students feedback right on their document and help them to to become a better um, better at writing or better at whatever it is that you're trying to get them to do. Um, they can also reply to it. Ninety percent of the time they don't. So you know that's fine too. Um, Moving on, I can include a header. Um, if you can see right here, I actually do have a header. Um, this is not a footer, uh, not anything that's on the main document. It's actually my header. That way it shows up on every single doc page of my document so that I don't have to keep copying and pasting that, that um, graphic there. Um, you can also um, create a uh, here. So let's let me go to edit. Um, header. So this is where you would do all of that. Um, so I can actually go in here. Now you see how everything kind of grays out here. I can actually do what I need to do to move things around. And I didn't like where it was or, you know, it, it's too big, it's too small. I didn't like something about it. So I can change it there. Um, and then you can just either do one of two things. You can just close the header or you can click off of the header and it'll get you back to the main document. Uh, footer, same principle. Um, you know, you can add a footer. I want a footer and then you can type the information in here. I don't use it very often. I'm more about headers. Um, but if you need a footer, that's where you would do it. Um, you can also insert a page number. Uh, I do this a lot. So this is the different places that you can do it. Um, say I want on the bottom of the page. Now you can see that I have a footer, uh, a number here. It is actually put into the footer. Um, and that's normal. So, you know, just make sure you close out of your footer when you're done. Um, but you have different types of, of um, places that you can put the page number or you can even create a page number. You can remove the page number. Um, so you have a lot of options here. Insert text box. You know, you want to type something to, and it tells you right here, um, you know, this is important and um, you know put it wherever it needs to be you can move it around you can you know change where it is you can change it whether it's in front of text or behind text i like it in front of text so now i can put that on here make it like a caption on there so that's kind of a fun tool um, if you get good at that this is where you can change your layout so um, if you hover this is one of the things that I've I've talked about a lot is, you, you know, uh, Microsoft has made this so easy that all you have to do is hover over these things and they'll tell you exactly what they do. Um, this is auto text. Um, so if I just want to get my name in there, I can do that. Um, 
you know, I can include a signature. Um, I don't need to do that right now, but that's something you can do. Um, document property, I can put see who the author is, as you can see here. Um, I can, let's see, what else can we do here? Um, building blocks organizer, I haven't ever seen this, but sure, let's see what it looks like. <laughs> I like trying new things. This is how I learn, and sometimes I don't understand what they are until I play with them. Um, doesn't look like I can find it much about that. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Um, I could do word art. Um, so I could put my name in here or whatever I would like in there. I can change the color. I can change the font. It does give me that um choice with the drawing tools and again I will do a separate video on drawing tools because there's a lot to do in here um, and um, I can add a drop cap so say I have this here um, so say I want to do a, a dropped I can do it that way I can do it in within the margin and I can also change my options maybe I want a different font and I wanted to drop one line instead of two. So you can, you know, you make different kind of choices here. Um, it is your choice for sure. Um, let's see, let's drop it two lines and um, say, okay, and there you go. So that's how you would use that. Um, then um, here, signature line, add signature services. Uh, so obviously we're gonna go outside of um, Word and this is just the support page. I haven't ever used it. I'm not sure what the use is for that, but there may be one that you have some at some point. Uh, let's see, insert a signature that specifies the person who must sign. Okay, so that's what that's for. And that's kind of cool. I, I won't argue that. Um, here, date and time, so I can actually insert a date and time if I want. And you see that pop up. Um, I can insert an object. Um, this will open a dialog box for me and then I can choose the type of um, the object I want to use. So I can actually create it from a document or or I can create it from a new, I can make a new one or I can create it from a file. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. Again, if you need more information from that, please let me know and I'll be glad to help you. Um, text from file. So um, uh, insert text from a file into your publication. If you have a text box selected, the text is added. So it's similar to the object. You're just adding more information. Um, math equations, really kind of cool, especially if you're doing a math class. It makes your life a lot easier so you don't have to type it all the time. And then you can also have all these other equations here. This is under the design tool. It's not the draw tool, so um, be aware that it is there. And you have a lot of options here, and another video will be coming regarding that. Uh, last but not least, you can add symbols. You know, I want a, uh, you know, mu. So there you go. Um, I want a beta. So you have a lot of things that you can do with the insert tab. So I am going to leave it there. And um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, something that I didn't cover, you want more information about, please contact me, edis.warden at oit.edu. My extension is 51730. And as always, you can Skype conversation with me. I could do an IM. I could do a vo video conferencing call. I will even meet you in your office and sit down with you if you have any other questions. So please contact me. I am here to help. Have a great day.